as we leave the relative safety of Corpus Christi Bay and point our sailboat north along the Gulf of Mexico, slowly tracing the coast of Texas. My mind drifts to the early explorers and settlers, people like LaSalle and Cabeza de Vaca, who'd make this journey without modern navigation, without GPS, without radar, without any known charts, and without a depth finder letting them know when they're about to run aground. Cabeza de Vaca, who eventually would become shipwrecked on what is now Galveston Island. Although then they would not call it Galveston, it would be called Mojado, which translates to ill luck. Here in Galveston, they would come face to face with hostile Indians, disease, and famine. While in Texas, Cabeza de Vaca and his crew would be attacked by Indians multiple times, which would kill off a vast majority of their party. The rest would be captured and forced into slavery, being forced to do the worst jobs and live in subhuman conditions amongst the Native Americans. After eventually escaping and stumbling upon the next Native American settlement, their luck would be drastically changed as instead of being treated as slaves, they would be treated as gods among the other Native American settlements. As we pushed north, knowing full well what awaited us at the end of our journey, warm showers and cold refreshments, I can't help but to think of those early explorers who voyaged into the unknown. I have a very vivid memory in my early childhood. I must have been in kindergarten or first grade, and I didn't really understand the concept of maps. I asked my teacher, what's on the other side of the map? What's on the parts that we don't know? And she told me that there wasn't anything, that we already knew everything. That it had already been explored and discovered. And at that moment, my heart sank. I remember the world just all of a sudden becoming that much smaller. As we pull into our final destination in Kima, Texas, 170 miles later, the crew laments about their long voyage. Although my mind is still with the Spanish explorers, how sweet must it have tasted to finally find civilization and return home after their long voyage. What would those Spaniards say about our voyage? We didn't run aground once or get shot at by a single Indian arrow and never had to worry about where our next meal would come from. Although, it was still an adventure for us.